Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. These are the highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay over the last two weeks. Coming in at number 10, we have this vintage 1990s Marilyn Manson Mexican bootleg. Yes, this definitely looks like a bootleg. Um, look at the back here. Just, you can kind of just like tell bootlegs. They're just like a little bit extra uh, all around on uh, a tag that we would uh, so you see on lots of uh, Mexican bootlegs. Uh, pretty sick. Uh, we haven't seen uh, this. I mean, this is definitely the highest uh, uh, Mexican bootleg I think we've had on the list. Maybe one or two other, like a Dragon Ball Z one a while back. Um, but anyway, not too bad. Uh, this one's pretty sick. Uh, it did sell uh, after one bid. It might have been an offer. I don't know. But it did sell for $1,500. Then at number nine, we have the vintage Harley Davidson 3D emblem. We do try to limit these. I do want to make that clear. Uh, but this is a design we actually haven't seen more recently. So it's pretty cool to see. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, this is the me and my scooter have been through a lot together. There's a couple that are kind of similar to this. Uh, but not. we haven't seen this one specifically on the top of the list. There's that 3D emblem tag. There is a little damage. Uh, but nothing a little bit of uh, sewing can't fix. This is in with fit from Withville, Virginia. I am a little bit familiar with that area because I drive drove through it, or I've dr I still drive through it quite a bit. Uh, but sick T-shirt for sure. This is a size. What they say the size was. Uh, there is the measurements, but no, that's not really where you want to measure it. Uh, but uh, let's see, size medium. So kind of small. So pretty crazy. Uh, these 3D emblem T-shirts are just going through the roof still. I uh, did not think we'd be saying that uh, basically nine months since we started seeing a uh, like a crazy spike. Uh, but this one also sold for $1,500. Then we have a Mad Season tee. This is the Mad Season Second Coming Hot Sake uh, t-shirt. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, 1995 New Year's Eve at Rock Candy. Uh, pretty cool t-shirt uh, for sure on the XL Fruit of the Loom. One of my favorite tags. Uh, definitely pretty sick. Not a lot of great photos. I would have preferred a few more photos, obviously. Uh, it does say it's size XL, uh, but we don't have um, any uh, measurements. I got this at the show. That's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, uh, sick t-shirt. This one sold for $1,600. Then at number seven, we have the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We have seen this tee quite a few times over the last many weeks. Uh, I think we def I think I don't think it was on the week before, so it technically uh, does qualify this week. But this was sold by uh, Ra uh, Rally Roots. Uh, the Hip Lion is their uh, eBay. So congratulations, Ryan and Allie. There, uh, pretty sick. I've been I was watching those guys years and I mean, golly, so long ago now. Uh, so uh, always big shout out to them. Uh, but cool tea. We have seen it a few times now. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the r rare and most I guess valuable. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers tea. Let's see the yeah the Holy Grail for sure. Um, this one's pretty sick. Uh, I don't know if this is one of the ones that sold uh, pre uh, re recently or previously, uh, but uh, it's definitely the time to sell these because these are hot on the market. This one sold for one thousand eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. Then next up we have the Mike Tyson Double uh, XL Iron Mike. This is a ready to rage again uh, uh, bootleg. Super sick bootleg t-shirt uh, probably one of the cooler mike tyson tees i have seen uh, it's a little raggedy <laughs> but you kind of come to expect that um, but either way it's pretty sick with mike tyson uh, i think he's fighting was it jake paul uh pretty soon uh we'll probably see a few more mike tyson tees end up on this list so if you've got a rare mike tyson might be the time to throw it up there somebody who's going to go to the show really wants to or go to the fight really wants to wear it live so this is your opportunity uh, but this one did sell for $1,900 then next up we're gonna do this a little bit different we have three of the same design that sold uh, three different times in the last two weeks for quite a bit of money um, instead of filling the whole list up we're just gonna show you each one of them here uh, this is the Sonic Youth disappear t-shirt uh, three different versions of it or not versions but three different t-shirts uh, sold this week uh, one with this Hanes tag, the ultra weight, one with the beefy T, and then one with a tag that has been removed or has been cut out. So 
printed by Winterland. I don't know what what what's going on here. If somebody just saw the the first one go and decided to list the other ones, uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this one sold for seventeen ninety four. This one sold for eighteen seventy five, and the number one T uh, the number one sale here uh, sold for two thousand uh, dollars. Definitely a very rare Sonic Youth T-shirt. Um, and, and these are and several of these are really good condition, really good examples of it. So, um, not sure what like suddenly motivated the uh, attention here. And if you know, leave it in the comments below. But uh, dope T-shirt nonetheless. Now a t-shirt that we do see quite a bit with the bolt hole surfers. This is the Don Rock art, I believe. Uh, we see this t-shirt pretty often. In fact, I think we've seen it sell four, four or five times this year. Um, this is probably one of the higher sales, I actually think, if I'm re remembering correctly. Uh, but this is obviously a pretty notorious dope t-shirt. Um, this one sold uh, for $2,000. Next up, we have the Comic Images Marvel X-Men number 25, Magneto and Wolverine, Magneto, excuse me, and Wolverine. This is a dope t-shirt, obviously. I think these Comic Images t-shirts are so cool. Um, uh, there's the episode, or the, the comic that it was uh, from. Absolutely dope t-shirt. Um, we don't see a, a lot of these make the list these days. Uh, so if you're if you've been watching for a long time, you will remember there were days or weeks where we'd have like, you know, half the T-shirts uh, would be comic images, uh, uh, comic tees. But uh, it's been a while, and so we only see some of the best stuff make the list this time. Uh, this is a nice description, good photos. A 18 bids later, this one sold for two thousand and ninety-four dollars. Then at number two, we have another 3D emblem Harley Davidson T Brothers in the Wind. Uh, these 3D emblem tees, again, still popping off like crazy. We have not seen this design. Um, I actually want to, uh, I probably, per I like this one a lot. Uh, this has got an Easy Riders, it's from Easy Riders, uh, and licensed from, licensed by 3D emblem, yeah. So, super cool t-shirt for sure. Does it have a back hit? Let's take a look. There's that 3D emblem tag, yeah, there's specific Harley Davidson, Honolulu, Hawaii, so kind of a rare more rare location most likely uh so definitely a dope t-shirt 3d emblems definitely maintaining their their value here this one sold for two thousand and five hundred dollars then at number one we have this vintage 1980s keith herring portrait by andy warhol t-shirt super cool t-shirt uh definitely a rare one here uh, you can see here that we have, uh, does that say Andy Warhol? Yeah, Andy Warhol's signature. Obviously, this is just a print, not an actual Andy Warhol uh, art, but uh, uh, a print of his on a dope t-shirt. Let's see the tag. It looks like an anvil tag. Is that what it was? Yeah, anvil tag. So um, I can't remember if this is 80s or probably more likely 90s. Um, I don't think that anvil tag went that far back. So uh, maybe early 90s. Uh, but anyway... Dope t-shirt. This one sold for $2,800. Remember to visit the defunct.com forums for a fun and friendly vintage t-shirt community. Whether it's price checks or authentication, they can help you out.